What is up everybody? I'm Star Lord. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're having a good day and today's video is going to be a very quick easy guide on how you can actually evolve a Sligu into a Gudra in very easy timing, very quickly. It's a pretty easy guide, but most of you guys who probably really want a Gudra right now don't exactly know how to evolve a Sligo, a Sligu into a Gudra. It's a little bit, it's a little bit different from normal evolution, guys. So if this video does help you out and you didn't already know how to do this, then please remember to leave a like and also go and share it with your friends, you know? Kind of spread the channel about, guys. I'm trying to get myself known in the community again and stuff like that. And you guys can help that by leaving a like and sharing sharing my video, telling your friends about me, that'd be really cool. Um, but anyway guys, here we are today in Pokemon Rick Bonds, we got this, who's this? Premium Amazing Shine, you got an amazing shine, you have nice hair, cool hair, cool hair. Um, but what we're gonna do guys, is we're gonna make sure that we've actually got a Saligu in our party right here. Here he is right here, the little dragon type Pokemon, and he's pretty cool, he's an awesome Pokemon that you can get from Root. 18. Now, at Route 18, he is the rarest Pokemon that spawns there, so it's going to take a long time for you guys to find one. Um, hopefully not, though. I wish you all the best of luck in getting one of those. And once we've done that, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go to Port Deca. As you can see, I'm right here outside of Heroes Hoverboards. And now what we're going to do is go towards this big... Big, 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 big boat right here, and turn right. Right past this dude here, that's Gerald. He lost his Bidoof out at sea a, a little while ago. He waits there every day. Little does he know a Gyarados edit for its dinner. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's a very sad story. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go into this root extender right here on the left. And this will bring you out to... Port Deca Beach, I believe, or is it just Deca Beach? I think it's just Deca Beach. Yeah, it's, it's Deca Beach. There you go. And once we're here, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glitch down here for a second. And we're going to get on this beach right here. And we're going to go to the best EXP training spot so far in the game. And it's this dude right here. This dude here is the best EXP training spot right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to battle him. And as long as you have a Charizard or a Salamence or something like that, even a Gudra will work. Even if you have a Sligo, um, it will work. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that if you do have an EXP share that you have it activated. If not, make sure that you're battling with your Saligu and that you keep on leveling up in this area. Every time you beat this dude, it should get you around about 7,000 to 14,000 EXP, depending on if you have um, like the boosts on and stuff like that. Right now, I'm getting 14,000 every time I battle him, so that's pretty cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep on going through his Pokemon, who are very easy by by the way, it's extremely easy uh, to beat this dude. And um, I actually did a guide on battling this dude uh, yesterday, I believe it was, or earlier today, depending on when I actually uploaded the video. And uh, basically, um, I thought that this is probably the best place to get EXP so far in the game. And it is. It is actually the best place you can get EXP. And it's the quickest to battle, too. It's so easy. Because, uh, you, you know, you're getting 7,000 to 14,000, 15,000 each battle, which is really good. And each time that you actually battle him and win him, all you have to do is go to the RTD player search, search your own username, and once you have, join your own game, make sure that you save it, and uh, you can just rebattle him over and over again. So it should only take me one or two more battles um, to actually level up my Saligu to level 50. And that is where we're going to then progress into this today's guide, guys. So there you go. Let's battle him again. Yes, you'll never improve, dude. You're always going to be poop at this game, Beach Bum Joe. Um, and um, I actually did this guide the other day on the best EXP training spot and how to get your Pokemons to level 100. Little did I know, Lando and the team actually capped your Pokemon to level 90. I thought you could still get to a level 100 after you beat the 8th gym, but I guess that they decided not to let you do that until the 8th gym actually comes out. Uh, sorry, until the Elite 4 comes out, uh, which is very sad. And uh, as you can see, guys, I've just actually leveled up my Saligu. So what I'm going to do right now is um, I'm going to keep on battling him just to kind of get my Saligu nearly to level uh, 51. Uh, so we're going to go to fight Dragon Claw, like so. I'm going to kill this Golduck. Kill him because he's a poop. Nah, I, I really like Golducks, by the way. They're, they're, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. So, yeah. I'm a Hooper level 70. Yay! And uh, what we're going to do is we're not going to switch our Pokemon because we are going to Flamethrower this Executor. Executor. Is that how you say that Pokemon? Executor? Yeah, Executor. 
I don't know. I always have pr trouble pronouncing Pokemon names. I don't know. They're so weird. Um... Okay, but there you go. My team uh, got the EXP from EXP share. And what I'm going to do really quickly, guys, is I'm actually going to check really quick on my Pokemon whether I'm very close to leveling up. So next, uh, EXP to next level is 3,000. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go uh, to menu, Pokemon, and now that we're at level 50 with our Saligu, we're going to go to Laguna Lake, guys. This is where we need to level up our Pokemon. Now, this could take a little bit of time, guys. But if it does, I will actually skip the video a little bit. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go and surf in this water. Please tell me I can surf. No, I can't. So I'm going to have to do good rods. Oh, why did I do this? Okay, I forgot to bring my Gyarados. But it's okay, guys. Don't worry about it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attack these Pokemons um, over and over again to level up. And uh, the really cool thing about this area, and the reason why you can only level up your Saligu in this area, is because it actually is raining all of the time in Laguna Lake. Um, hence why the lake is so lakey, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It, it is. Let's see how much XP I earn from that. Please tell me it was a lot. Okay, so this is going to take me a long time, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the video or speed it up. And uh, yeah, I will be right back. Okay guys, sorry about that, I actually had to level up my Saligu a little bit more than I thought, so I had to like fly somewhere and really quickly just kind of level up a little tiny bit, but this next battle should actually uh, help my Saligu evolve into a Gudra. Um, as it is intended. As you can see, it does start to rain, and rain is actually what we need to evolve our Saligu uh, into the Gudra. So what I'm going to do really quickly is Dragon Claw this Goldeen, which I don't think it deserves, because that's a really powerful move, and it's only a small little goldfish. Um, but as you can see, EXP, uh, and also I got my Saligu to level 51. And there you go, guys. Finally, it is what? Saligu is evolving, and... Um, now we have our very awesome dragon Pokemon. I know a lot of people are really, uh, really excited to get the, their hands on this Pokemon and stuff like that. Because it is a pretty cool one, to be honest. So, yeah. There you go, guys. There is your new Gudra. It's such an awesome Pokemon. I love the way, like, all the goo drips off its, like, chin and everything. And, uh, like, it's on its hands and stuff. It's really weird. But it is a pretty awesome dragon-type Pokemon. Um, I'm not going to really use... Uh, I'm not going to learn any of the moves uh, just yet. Because I'm probably going to give this one away. But, as you can see, guys... There it is right there. It looks awesome. Such an awesome Pokemon. And it's got my OT, so I will be giving this away. The IVs are pretty bad, to be honest. But it's, it's yeah, it's got pretty good special attack, though. That's pretty cool. Um, and the move list is just normal, you know? Um, well, anyway, guys, that's pretty much been it for today's video on how to get Gudra in Pokemon Brick Bonds. Because I know for a fact a lot of new players to the Pokemon uh, universe won't exactly know how to evolve it. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you did, please remember to leave a like, as it does help me out and uh, just have an awesome day and enjoy the eighth gym update guys and uh, yeah until next time i mean star lord oh see ya